Our top story tonight, community leaders hoping to do a pop up at a Metro Council member's house after she says the Brave Cave matter will no longer be discussed during Metro Council meetings. NBC Local 33 Sudan Britain shares if advocates were able to pull off this community drive up. Two weeks ago, this happened during the Metro Council meeting. Community activist group Ghetto Ways posted a flyer on social media saying how council member Jennifer Rocca will no longer be allowing Brave Cave discussions during the session. Community activist Gino McLaughlin says this could prevent tough conversations from being discussed in rooms where decisions are made. About, you know, the police chief and some of the uh, accusations that, that, that he made, I think she's probably taking some of that personal uh, because he did name her uh, uh, personally. But uh, it's not just her, though. There's several council members, uh, uh, you know, from uh, Daryl Hurst uh, on down that also uh, voted to not have this matter heard at the last council meeting. And I think we got to ask them directly, why is that? Um, I wasn't interested in giving the police chief another platform to spread some lies that he couldn't corroborate or offer any facts. He but McLaughlin says the public is missing pieces to the story. And so what we've seen from this chief is that he's fired multiple cops, multiple cops, not just for this particular incident, but for multiple different incidents in the past, right? Then it goes to uh, the um, Civil Service Board. And at the Civil Service Board, oftentimes his, dis his discipline is overturned and you see those officers rehired. And so that's where you bring in the council. The council has a, has a role to play there. Why? Because they help put, on, put people onto the Civil Service Board, right? McLaughlin says leaders were supposed to show up at Rocca's alleged address with letters to expose the truth on the Brave Cave. But it didn't go as planned when the wrong address was sent out. McLaughlin says this attempt might have worked. They could have just floated it out there just to uh, say, hey, listen, we can pull up if we need to, right? Wrong address or right address, right? And even if it was the wrong address, those are her constituents. And I'm sure she heard from those constituents that, hey, listen, I don't know what's going on, but you need to go talk to those people. And so I think the message was sent. I think it was heard. Sudan Britton, NBC Local 33 News.